Way back in 2013, CyberConnect2 and Bandai Namco released a fighting game based on the long-running JoJo's Bizarre Adventure manga series to little fanfare. Almost a decade later, it's been revived for a remaster and upgraded version called All-Star Battle R, and it's looking to make a splash in a genre that's become a lot more crowded and exciting over recent years. All-Star Battle R comes equipped with some bold new characters, smart updates to the combat system, and a disappointing replacement for the original story mode. So, in some ways, it succeeds as a celebration of the 35-year-old history of one of the most exuberant and vibrant anime and manga series out there. But while it remains an entertaining fighting game, its online components still feel archaic in the modern era. All-Star Battle R's impressive roster spans the entire history of the series, including 10 more fantastical characters than the previous iteration's already generous 41. Representatives ranging from Fan of Blood's Jonathan Joestar and his diabolical adopted brother Dio Brando, to Jonathan's descendant Jotaro Kujo from the Stardust Crusaders arc, culminating with Josuke from the most recent Part 8 storyline. And of course, there are plenty of allies and foes from every part in between. Trying out each fighter is a joy, and exploring the lovingly crafted fighting styles with the benefit of the newly added assist move synergies brings more complexities to combat than were possible in the original. Those combined with funny character quirks and interactions fill every match with pleasant surprises. The cherry on top is an update to the Japanese voice cast in All-Star Battle R, with actors reprising their roles from the most recent anime adaptations to make these faithful recreations feel complete. Each era of JoJo has unique abilities and rules for combat, making for battles that are varied and fun to control. The first generation of characters, like the Hamon users, can recharge the HH gauge with the hold of a button and use their gauge for stronger special moves. Others have vampiric powers, while those from the Steel Ball Run arc can fight both on and off horseback. It's wild and wacky in true JoJo spirit, and that makes matchups exciting. <laughs> Much of the series' confrontations center around the protective spirits called stands, that act as a second body on the battlefield, and so it makes sense that a majority of the cast makes use of this special ability. That may sound like it would make everyone play a little homogeneously, but stands can manifest in assorted and surprising forms. Along with differentiating movesets, making every character feel like they have a cool gimmick despite sharing a common battle style. <laughs> Because of those connective through lines between much of the cast, more often than not, once you've learned one character, there's a lot you can carry over when you try out another. For instance, no matter who you're playing as, basic combos are easy to pull off, with light attacks smoothly transitioning into medium and heavy moves. Speaking of beginners, Easy Beat is a great tool for new players to use to jam out simple combos using only the light attack button until they learn how to piece moves together on their own, that is. It's great to swap between memorable characters from early in the anime and then switch to later JoJo heroes and antagonists to see what kinds of wacky gameplay schemes they abide by. <laughs> After you've taken that smooth on-ramp to playing All-Star Battle R, there are plenty of advanced skills to learn to maximize your effectiveness on the battlefields. For example, battles play out mostly on a 2D plane, but the dodge button allows you to dash into the foreground to avoid an oncoming onslaught. Learning to do this is vital to open up counter-attack opportunities and punish aggressive advances. Likewise, the more advanced stylish evade can turn last-second blocks into a time-slowing dodge, and getting the hang of it requires precise timing and intuition of what the opponent's next attack may be. <laughs> Assist characters selected from any roster member can also be called in to provide mix-ups, extend combos, or just save you from a beating you may be taking. <laughs> Even taunts serve an important function by draining the opponent's resource gauge with appropriately timed trash talk. 
For those looking to get extra fancy, you can also spend a bar of meter to cancel the recovery of moves to either continue combos or make certain moves safe on block, much like a Roman cancel in Guilty Gear. Learning when and how to use each of these skills is rewarding and drastically extends the depth of strategy and gameplay in All-Star Battle R. Because of the timing of All-Star Battle R's release, its art style is largely based on JoJo creator Hirohiko Araki's manga and is presented with a wonderful comic book aesthetic. The colorful, hand-drawn textures and impossible poses for each character model are wonderful to look at, even if some of the models and stages are starting to show their age in 2022. Most of All-Star Battle R's offline modes are solid, if unremarkable, but it's enough to provide hours of happy grinding. Of course, arcade and one-on-one -on -one versus modes are expected in any fighter, and these activities are available here without any surprising elements. However, exciting additions such as a King of Fighters-like 3v3 team battle and support for tournament brackets you can play with up to 8 people offer great ways to get together with friends and duke it out in person. These modes should be staples in modern fighting games and their inclusion here deserves applause. The primary single player attraction is All-Star Battle Mode, which features canonical melees and hypothetical dream matches where you get to see which JoJo from different eras would win if they came to blows. What works best about these fights are the special conditions, like giving you and your computer-controlled opponent increases or penalties to attributes like special gauge recovery, defense, or attack power. Certain boss-like characters may also start in a more challenging state, making many of the battles exciting and difficult confrontations to overcome. Unfortunately, it leaves anybody who's new to JoJo completely in the dark as to what's happening in the story, who the main characters are, and why these fights are so important. The original story mode is nowhere to be found here, which means that one of the remaster's biggest missed opportunities is in the storytelling, or lack thereof. Only a glossary filling in some info on important items and characters hidden in the menus exists, but it serves better as a reminder to lapse fans than a guide to the greatness of JoJo. That's not to say that JoJo's signature flavor is nowhere to be found. It's alive and well on the battlefield. Explosive super moves known as Heart Heat and Great Heat Attacks unleash devastating combinations that are paired with ridiculous and flashy animations and voice lines. Some of the best of these include Dio pulverizing a steamroller, a classic, Diego transforming into a Jurassic Terror, and Akira Otoichi shredding on his guitar while his stand pummels their foe. Where things go downhill for All-Star Battle R is in its considerably lacking online play. Not only are the standout parts of offline competition missing, like team battles and tournaments, but remote matches are also limited to strictly 1v1 matchmaking without the option for group lobbies. On top of that, while some matches play out just fine online, matches with any kind of network slowdown can turn brawls into a constantly hitchy mess. Like this. That's a real mood killer, especially in an age where online play is more popular than ever, and competing fighting games such as Guilty Gear Strive or Capcom Fighting Collection are flexing a much better online infrastructure with modern rollback netcode. If only the issues were isolated to connection problems, but there are more concerns with online play. Entering into a ranked match is an exercise in navigating unintuitive menus, which made the simple task of selecting a preferred character confusing and frustrating. This annoying mode was also responsible for competitions where it lost a carefully customized button scheme simply because it matched into the 2P position. <laughs> It's great to have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle represented on modern hardware with an improved combat system over its 2013 version. Its online implementation desperately needs an upgrade though, and the crucial story context from the anime is nearly non-existent. Still, All-Star Battle R makes a strong case for itself in its raucous cast, 
accessible yet complex combat, and its set of solid, if safe, offline modes. It's not the best fighting game out there, but for those who are heavily invested in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, it's one we're glad to have on hand for a good time. For more zany fighting, check out our reviews of Rumbleverse and Multiverses. And for everything else, keep it here on IGN.